media is where people receive their information from. And information is power. Now, the government has the, the authority and power to lock you up, do this and do that with you. But to influence how people think is probably the most... It, it, it's it's power comes in, in, in a bunch of different um there's a bunch of different facets of power but to influence one's thought is probably the, it's priceless that's why the media matters so much at least when i look at it so if you look at any <coughs> sorry any dictatorship they always control two things the media and religion those are things that influence how people think, how they act, what they're willing to stand for, what they're willing to die for. Super important. Look at any goddamn dictator, dictatorship, um, oppressive regime. They'll always look to control the media and the religion. They'll either make themselves be deities or gods and then they'll control the information that the people could get about what's going on. Look at North Korea. They control everything. Look at China. The reason why they ban most of the, most of what we have over here in, in the Western civilization, like Twitter, Facebook, the center, they don't want their people polluted with those type of ideas of freedom. Like we have in arguments and battles about, yo, she, like people just have in their bio, he, uh, he and they, or whatever the fuck. I don't know all these pronouns. Oppressive regimes ain't got time for that bullshit. You don't got time for the people you're trying to control having these free thoughts. What the fuck? It's going to really take away from you controlling these motherfuckers, right? So I've always thought that. But I, I, I've always, I, I've also watched as time goes on, and I'm, I'm one that I, I look towards You can't be a hypocrite. Not because a rule doesn't apply to you mean you can't see that that rule eventually could be misused, right? So, for example, when Twitter came out and Twitter said, yo, when Donald Trump says some shit, we're going to decide and label it truth or we're not going to do nothing to it or we're, whatever he says that we don't believe we're going to put basically a, a little notification saying it's fake right saying about Trump who cares about Trump I'm saying this to say I think the future of social media is to be more powerful than any government I personally think the last election was was really influenced and determined by social media. Facebook, Twitter, help rally, help send messages out to people to go vote, help craft the narrative that needed to be to ensure the victory of Biden. But when you think about that there, you start to think who controls social media? These are private companies. Jack Dorsey runs Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg owns Instagram and, and, and Facebook. These are the motherfuckers who ain't political leaders who really, they're in it to further their own pockets, but they control the, the most influential and powerful things in the world. Now, again, as I said, this wasn't about Trump, but it goes, it, I saw a recent development that I was like, this is fucking interesting. I'm going to take J. Cole over the stream, screen for a second. <clears throat> the prime minister, I believe he's prime minister, not president. Or maybe president. The prime minister of Nigeria banned Twitter. In the entire country. I'll search it. Twitter, Nigeria. I don't know if it's allowed back yet, but it was banned. The Nigerian government banned its citizen from using Twitter. And the consequences are steep. So basically, Twitter cannot be used in Nigeria. And if people 
are using a VPN because you have to use a VPN to access Twitter, there's either fines or jail time. Now, why did this happen? Why did a whole country say, we don't want Twitter? Now, we already know, like, when it comes to some Asian countries, they own some other shit so much, they don't fuck with nothing we got going on in the Western Hemisphere. They don't fuck with our Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. They got their own version of everything. That's why TikTok is also interesting, because TikTok, there is a Asian version of that that has now pretty much got reformed into a Western version to now be TikTok. So this is this is the deal, and I've been reading up on it. I've been really keeping an eye on this. Here's the deal with Nigeria. Nigeria, their president, or uh, is it a president? Let me just make sure it's the president. Or, or, or is it prime minister? Let me see. Duh, duh, duh. <coughs> oh, it's the president. Right here, president. So the reason why they banned Twitter their president tweeted out something. And I don't want to get into Nigerian politics, but their president was sending a message about what he considers an extremist group. And basically it was a stern warning or maybe even a threat to say, when we catch y'all extremists, we gonna fuck y'all up. Now, Twitter saw that message. And even though it's from the president of Nigeria, which is intended to send a message to its own constituents, Twitter said, ah, we don't like the fact that you're threatening people. We're taking that down. So they either took the tweet down or put like a little message and like censored it. And Nigeria realized instantly Twitter isn't here to support their own country goals and missions Twitter is on some other shit that's trying to be the big brother to Nigeria. So Nigeria says, fuck out of here, Twitter. We use y'all. Y'all don't control us. Bandit. Now, this is an example of where I think social media is going. The power of Facebook and the power of Twitter. And the power of most of these social platforms have gone way beyond just entertainment, way beyond just communication. They've gone super political, and also they've started to extend and make great steps to interfere with how people normally govern their own people or how people live. For countries like Nigeria, I think it's unacceptable. That's why I banned it. So I look at it and I'm just forecasting. I'm like, think about the next election. <coughs> think about it. Think about the next election. Think about a few elections from now. Truth be told, the best, best marketing and the best promotion is going to be on Twitter or Facebook. It's not on TV stations anymore. These niggas could literally, fix, they could just pick and choose what messages will be sent, what messages will be censored, what messages is appropriate, what messages is not. And at that point, you're making decisions not as a platform, you're making decisions that are affecting the government. So I watch this and I'm like, I'm wondering where this is going to go. You feel me? So, again, uh, some of you might not care about this. I'm on the media side of a lot of things. I always care about media and platform reach and resources. And I thought that was interesting that a whole country, as soon as they fucked with what they are got going on, the country said, fuck you, Twitter. Get out of here. I'm looking forward to see how Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, other entities that isn't owned by Mark Zuckerberg or Jack Dorsey serves the people or helps affect how people think as it relates to political issues, religious issues, and moral issues.
I'll end it there. Anyway, chat, uh, I'm getting off for tonight. Uh, it's 2.35. I don't think I missed anything. Did I?